Okay, so let's take a look at sharpening and in particular selective sharpening. So with this image, I don't want to apply any sharpening to the water. I want to try and keep this water as silky smooth as possible and just sharpen other areas of the image. So I find this to be, this is my go-to way of sharpening. I find it both easy and effective. Um, there's going to be easier ways, there's going to be more effective ways, but this is the best combination that I've come across um, of both easy and effective. So the first thing we want to do is with our photo open, uh, Control J, create a new layer. With layer one selected, we go up to filter, we go down to other, and we click high pass. Okay, so this is gonna turn everything gray and it's going to give us one little box that we can choose from and the only option we have is radius. So as a general rule, I like to keep my radius at two. I wouldn't go past five. Uh, once you get past five, you start to create halos, which is not great. Two is a good starting point. For the sake of this video, I am going to turn it up just so we can actually see what's going on. So I don't recommend going this high. Um, so this is just for the video so we can actually see where the sharpening is happening. So we click OK. OK, and that should you should have a grayscale image on your screen. So with that selected, so layer one, we go to our blending types and we change our blending type to overlay. Okay, so this is effectively applied the sharpening to the image. So if we turn that off, we can see the before and we can see the after. So as you can see, it's applied quite a bit of sharpening. If we just go up to the foliage up here, okay, there's the sharpen and there's before. Okay, so as you can see in the sky, it has uh, it sharpened a little bit of the sky, which is not ideal. We'll deal with that soon. But more importantly, the water. Let's go down. We'll zoom in around about here so we can get a good look at what's going on. All right, so there's our before. So in particular, the water, it's nice and smooth. It's all silky. Uh, it looks nice. But once we apply the sharpening, it just makes it a little bit more contrasty. Uh, I, I don't like the look of it. I prefer it to be smoother. So this is why this is a great way of sharpening because what we can do now is if we just hide our background, we can still see the image. We can still see where the sharpening is being applied. Um, and what we can do from there is we can mask out the bits that we don't want sharpened. So with our top layer selected, our high pass filter selected, we choose a mask. With the mask selected, we choose a black brush. Okay, uh, just we'll turn our opacity up to 100%. And then with a black brush, we can start masking out the areas we don't want the sharpening to apply. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, because as you'll see, um, I'll just go up around the edge as well, get rid of this bit down here, okay. And then if we put our background back on, so there's our before and there's our after. And as you can see, it's just applied the sharpening to the rocks and we've masked out all the water. So we're retaining that silky smooth water, yet we're still sharpening the areas of the image that we want sharpened. Okay, so if we zoom back out, again, we'll just select our high pass filter or our layer one, hide the background, um, make sure we are on our layer mask, and then we can just mask out other areas. So I'm just going to do this quick, just so we can get a quick idea of how it works. Mask out that whole water area. Um, you can get right in there if you want to. Um, if you have a, a waterfall that's got lots of different flows like this one, we can mask it. There's a little bit up there. There's a little bit there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the main parts we want sharpened is over here to the right and over here to the left. So it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's roughly there, you're not going to notice a huge difference. So that's roughly where we want it. We've masked out all the water. Okay, so there's our before and there's our after. And as you can see, it's just sharpening certain areas and not sharpening the rest. So yeah, great way of selective sharpening. The high pass filter, I highly recommend using a high pass filter. So it, it, it lets you see what you are sharpening um, and lets you erase areas that you don't want sharpened. 
Works really great for portraits as well. Um, if you're taking a portrait at a shallow depth of field and you've got that beautiful blurry background, you don't want to apply sharpening to that. Um, so, you know, go in, sharpen your eyes, sh sharpen your facial features and the hair, um, and use this technique to completely remove all that sharpening from the background. It's a, it's a, it's a great way of sharpening, very effective and just very easy to use. And you can even go one step further. So for example, uh, we've, re we've removed all the sharpening from the water, but we can also remove a little bit of the sharpening from the sky. So I really want these rocks to pop, uh, leave the sharpening there, but I want to reduce the sharpening in the sky. So if we take our brush, just reduce the opacity to yeah, say 50%, we'll just zoom out a little, make the brush a bit bigger, and then we can just paint out, I'm going to paint out those trees as well just to show you what's going to happen. So we paint out our sky at a opacity of 50% and then we'll turn this back on. Let's just zoom in a little. Okay, so there's the before and there's the after. So we've still applied a little bit of sharpening um, but only 50% of what the rest of the image has sharpened. So, and that's a good thing about this high pass filter. You can um, it's very adjustable. So just just with a layer mask, you can, you know, if if it's too sharp, you can just rub out a bit of it. Okay, just just reduce the sharpness just with a mask. Um, or alternatively, you can change your opacity here and turn down the sharpening. So if you want just a little bit of sharpening, we'll just zoom in again. Okay, so it might be hard to see on the video but just by reducing the opacity of that top layer, we're reducing the opacity of the mask. So there you go, that's, uh, that's how I like to do my sharpening, especially when I've got motion, uh, long exposures. Keeping the sharpening out of your long exposure just makes everything look nice and smooth, um, yet still lets you sharpen other areas of the image. So I hope you found this useful, um, nice easy way of sharpening, very effective, uh, extremely effective actually. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a technique that I use a lot to sharpen, rather than just applying a global sharpen that sharpens the whole image. Uh, it's a great way of keeping, keeping certain areas sharpened and other areas unsharpened. So if you did like this, please leave a like. Um, if there's Anything else you'd like to see, um, easier ways of doing anything, simpler ways, effective ways. Uh, the goal of this channel is aimed at beginners, so people just getting into Photoshop, so trying to keep things as simple as possible and quick and easy. That That's what I'm here for, quick and easy. I want to spend time out taking photos. I don't want to spend too much time in Photoshop. I just want to get in there and apply a couple of quick edits, make the photo or the image look as best as I can um, and get on to taking more photos. So yep, please leave a like if you did like it, leave a comment if you want to see something else or any sort of feedback's welcome and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.